All right, so today is game day. We're two and zero so far. Got to keep it going and go three and zero. But it's gonna be a challenge today because we're gonna be missing quite a few people. But we still gonna get it done. All right, so I'm home. Um, had to go to work really quick. I was supposed to be off today, but I had one session, so I went and knocked it out. Now I gotta hurry up and switch because we got an early game and we're gonna be shorthanded. So I gotta get ready. All right. There we go. Let's get it. Oh. All right, so just got to the field. Um, I only got a few minutes to warm up, so I got to really jump on it and. Um, I know y'all saw the name Smash Pass. I thought about that. I'll explain that to y'all later. But I'll be back after with an update at the end of the game. All right, so I'm finally home. We won today. Uh, my knees hurt. <laughs> but uh, it's been a long day. Ate some Buffalo Wild Wings afterwards. And still haven't forgot. I have to explain to y'all how we got the name Smash Pass. It's actually not that long of a story, not that bad of a story. Because a lot of people see the name and think, Oh my God, it's so vulgar, but I'm still gonna tell y'all about it. I just need to go in. Still gotta give my dog a bath because it's Sunday. I try to bath him every Sunday. Doesn't always happen, but still, I try. So, knock that out. And I'll be back to recap the day with y'all. Let's go. All right, so it's the end of a successful day. Um, our game went well. We won 36 to 26. We played against a team called Flint Tropics. Now, I think the Tropics have not that good of a team, but they have an epic name, so I'll give them that because I love the movie Semi Pro. Um, but anyway, like I've been saying all day, I want to explain Smashing Pass. As you can see, I put on one of our jerseys. This is actually our jersey from last year. So, um, I started playing flag football in this league, I think this is my eighth year. Been doing it for a while. Um, so I started out just bouncing around team to team, trying to find a spot. A lot of teams didn't know who I was, but I soon made a name for myself um, because I'm actually pretty good at football. Well, I decided to make a team with a couple of guys and we called it UNIT. It was an acronym. I was young and dumb. I'd rather not say what it stood for. Um, but I didn't last a whole year with that team because the two guys I created the team with, they found a way to shut me out of my own team. So I ended up leaving that team and joining a team called Elite. We got eliminated very quickly, and then I realized if I want to do it, I need to do it myself. So I found my buddy Ray Man, and we actually decided to do this team together. And we created Smashing Pass. This is our third year with the team. Now the name originated with very peaceful means, but every time someone hears it like Smashing Pass, they try to make it sound very inappropriate. So I'm going to explain to you all where the name came from. So, when we created the team, I had a logo drawn up. On the logo, I have Mario and Luigi. And the goal was to have them have buff arms. You can see Mario has buff arms. He's holding the football like a quarterback. Because I feel like if they played football, Mario would be the quarterback. I have Luigi standing on the ball with his arms folded, buff arms again, because he's the taller brother. So, naturally, he would probably play receiver. So they are considered the Smash Brothers. We are playing football, so smash and pass. Makes a lot of sense. But every place we tried to go to to get our jerseys printed, they say those copyright issues, we had to get permission from Nintendo, so it never happened. Well, our first year, we threw together some jerseys really quickly. 
I'm not even going to show you what they look like. Um, but we landed on Carolina Panther colors, which are black, Carolina blue, and silver. Um, we threw like this devil dog on it. Um, again, I won't show you because I'm embarrassed of it because it was last minute. But we didn't like the jerseys. So then we came back our second year, and I designed this one myself off Custom Ink. I think it looks pretty good. I hope you can see it pretty well. We got the names on the back going down it sideways. I don't know. I'll try to let you see it really quickly. But yeah, everyone loves the jersey. But the problem uh, with last year was there were about three teams that wore black, so we had to switch it up, which led us to the digital camo army thing because um, I'm going through this army green kick, desert sand kick. So the team loves the jerseys, and they're totally different from what anybody has. So now I think we finally landed on our jersey colors and our jersey design. So that is the thing behind Smash and Pass. All right, now that we got that out the way, um, today's vlog isn't that long. I uh, really didn't have a major topic, and I really sat around and thought about it all day because, you know, the last few episodes have been about me traveling to go see my buddy graduate and taking the kids to the trampoline park. You know, all exciting things. So I was wondering, now that I'm back in my everyday life, what was I going to do? Well, I decided that I would vlog my journey to getting back fit. Now, I don't think I'm totally out of shape right now. I really don't. I think I'm in fairly good shape, but I was a D1 collegiate athlete. Um, so... At one point in my life, for a long stretch of my life and most of my adult life, I was very lean, very fit, very strong, in great overall shape. And I decided now that I'm training people, I don't want to be that trainer who doesn't look like he takes his own advice. So I'm going to start vlogging about my journey to getting back fit. Now I'm not going to get back to D1 400 hurdler shape, but I want to get somewhere in between that and now, leaning closer to that end. So starting tomorrow... I want you all to follow me on my journey to getting fit. I'm going to try to clean up my diet, which probably won't work. Um, but I'm going to start showing you all the workouts I'm doing. We're going to try to up the cardio and just get back fit, man. So it's the end of a successful day. We won. I got my big baby taken care of. Got him bathed up. Um, I'm bathed up. So now it's time to relax. See you all tomorrow.